kind of game, right? So here we have Toby, blue. Um, I wonder it's probably going to do all different sieves. Nope, we're back with Franks, Teutons, Brits, and Koreans. So it looks like Toby's headed over here. Oh, that was really nice. So we saw all the pings and where everybody is. So they have the bottom half of the map. That's nice and easy. Let's go over to the other team. Oh, Chins. I, I never know how to say his name, but um, I love the way he plays. I saw him play against Spring and Hunt Wars, and then he didn't wall, and just his unit movement and everything was great. So I loved watching him play. So I did grab a few of his rucks before, and he's Tootins. He's up north. Let's take a look at the map here with full vision. And have a nice gay, the politically most politically politically correct name I've seen yet is uh kind of at two o'clock. Twelve o'clock for Ching Ching. And um about as close to the middle of the map as you can get for Paraparo. And Tsunami again kind of in the middle of the map here. And that's for POZ though. Two, three, four. You know, let me turn on unit spy. This will probably be easier for me. Ah, uh, that's that's much much easier. Just so I can see positions. But that is ugly to look at. So we're gonna go back to turning that off. There we go. Dear, and let's see. Ooh, trap sheep up here. But not a big deal because have a nice gay already has a million sheep as Britons. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Ching's going to get a couple sheep there from have a nice gay. Because he's got a million. He can spare some. And, ooh, Bustos and Tsunami right next to each other. That's interesting. Let's go to their view. I just want to see what they, I want to feel what they're seeing here. Bustos and Tsunami. Oh, wow. So Bustos actually doesn't see Tsunami yet. And I'm wondering if Tsunami sees him. Um, I can't believe they missed each other. They really don't see each other? Okay, well now he's going to see him. But the sheep's going to see the lumber camp because the villies are up. Okay, well now they're going to see each other. <laughs> also be interesting. Let's take the fog off. We kind of know where everybody is. Um, not too much action is going to be happening over here. Toby. Franks, he's off to the side, nowhere else near him. Kind of the same thing with Tammy, right? User joined your channel. Hey, welcome back, Ashby. Hey, I'm back, just waiting for the game for Top to put me back in the room. All right. And then when you catch up, um, I'm at about five minutes, and then kind of uh, three o'clock on the map. There's tsunami and bust those building TCs like right next to each other. <laughs> I think they're in range where they can hit each other too. So this will be interesting. Um, Bustos has his TC up significantly faster though. Uh, twice as fast as, as Tsunami. So let's see what happens here. Yes. And now they... For tough to read my message, I guess. Okay. And now you can't kill a villi, so that's smart. He can't kill his villi and garrison his TC here, yeah. And he's got all these deer, though. So he's already going to be way at... Oh, no, he's, he's going at the villi. If that villi would have died... Oh, man. <laughs> it wouldn't have been good for um, his team. Because one of the rules is you can't kill any villis till all the TCs are up. But... I think it's till the first TC is up. Oh no, it's all of them. They all have to be up. Which is weird, because they're saying what happens if you run Billy, the, like you the, just never make a TC and you just like suicide your Billy into another TC, right? So, not the most... Yeah, it's very lameable. Yeah, definitely. Um, have a nice gay has a ton of sheep as Britons and three boar and this nice main gold kind of the eight gold pile up here and the two side gold piles here so super nice map for him and he's just gonna let these two duke it out down here he's totally safe uh cloud has uh, got four boar sheep 
it's gold there. Looks like they all have pretty decent maps, like disregarding positions right now. They all kind of have stone and gold and food close. Yeah, Toby, deer, deer and sheep. Gold stone. Uh, Tammy is kind of the only player who doesn't really have the closest golden stone, but it's not horrific. Everybody going for boar. I'm just curious. Uh, I mean, I'm not sure what to do here as Tsunami. That's just such a dis uh, disadvantageous spot here, just positionally, and he doesn't have any food, so he's not going to be up to feudal ever. Um, after these sheep are gone, he's going to be in a world of hurt. Good uh, job spotting this boar, though. I think he he saw that boar. Yeah, so he's going after that. Going to build a house first. And let me just take a look at pop counts. Very telling. Ah, uh, Tsunami. He's in last with nine villies with Pero Pero. And in the lead is Have a Nice Gay with 12 and Bustos with 12. I'll go back to score here. See if any checking up on everybody's idle villies. But yeah, man, I'm actually surprised too that um Bustos is going for sheep here. Instead of just going for the deer right off the bat. But um He's going to see that he didn't get that boar, but that's not really a big deal when you've got a million deer and he, he already lured another boar down here that I missed, so there's that. Peril Peril, just chilling out, nothing going on over here. Uh, this is, what is going on with the, these villies over here by Peril Peril, though? I think he wants to build a mill there and he didn't, he's just waiting for enough wood. Yeah. Yeah, because he had to build the house. Now he's going to build a mill here by all this stuff. We're all happy. We all have food. We're getting ready. It's the peace times before war. <laughs> so I'm actually rooting for Tsunami over here because if he somehow gets this to work after being in such a bad spot, I'm going to be amazed. I kind of want to learn something from him. Well, the good thing is he's right by the stone, right? So he's got that, but the bad thing is he has a million less deer than Bustos. <laughs> so, and have a nice gaze, just like in Food Heaven. He's got boar, he has sheep still. Ton of sheep. And I wonder if anybody found these deer over here. And Ching already starting to wall off this side of the map. go to his view. I'm going to see if he can see those deer. Oh, no, he can't see the deer. Yeah, he's starting to walk. He, he doesn't really see anything over here. He, and um, if he just walls this area off, everything's funneled over here by his TC. He's just totally safe. Nice safe play. Have a nice gay. Kind of doing the same thing, walling that off. And, uh-oh. Ching is going to be housed. And he, yeah, he's that's gonna hurt. He didn't start building the house pretty much till he was housed. Not good to be housed on 20 pop in a land nomad. Um, I'm just trying to keep my eye on the villi counts of Tsunami and Bustos. Yeah, Bustos is two villies ahead, but that's about right because his TC was at, it was finished when Tsunami was at 50%, so it's gonna be pretty rough over there. PLZ Cloud saying I will main help you, Bustos. And so Tsunami's in a world of hurt. He's going to have to get a lot of help by having a nice gay. So it's a good thing that he has had such a good start with all the sheep and such. He's going to have to give a helping hand. Tammy's saying he's going to boom. And he's totally safe to boom because he's pretty much nice and safe. If there ever is a pocket player, this is this is perfect spot. They have to get through Cloud first and he's pretty safe over there and Toby and um um Bustos. I guess Toby's on on the other team though. No change. Oh no wait, looking getting confused, I'm sorry. Yeah he's fine. Toby and um Tammy are on the same team. So really, it looks like everything is going to... 
I mean, theoretically, they could attack up here, but this is just, it's like World War II is happening over here, <laughs> which is like, they're ready to battle at the drop of a hat, right? Yes. <laughs> oh god, and they're already, it's already starting, so this is just going to be non-stop action over here as soon as possible, and everybody's probably going to look to help them instead of trying to start warring somewhere else, because no one really has vision on the left side of the map. There's kind of a lot of gold everywhere on the map, and this is just going to be a really important spot to hold because that is where Tsunami's TC is and those are good to have. <laughs> I like having TCs not get get destroyed and having to move. Like if he does have to move to, I mean really where is he going to move? He can move like anywhere else on the map and this is just such an important part of the spot for Bustos to have and then he's already pushing in to have a nice gay so... Oh, and the first tower up by Bustos. And let me just go to Tsunami's, Tsunami's view here. I just kind of want to see what he's looking at. He's in a world of hurt. So he's just hitting feudal now. Ooh, and he already has all these farms up too. Defensive tower back here. And all these idle villies over here, five idols trying to get into this tower. I think, you know what, he just can't hold here. Like, it's easier to see it when you're watching, but it's just too much going on. He doesn't have the benefit of seeing, like, obviously the rest of the map. But he's just in a really vulnerable position, and he's already behind, so it's, it's going to be really tough to hold this. He's not safe to farm, he's not really safe to do anything. Now he's not really that safe to get wood right now. He's having to idle five billies to try to deny this tower, which isn't really going to work. Um, maybe best just to leave. I don't know. I, I, I don't know enough to know. It's just it's such a bad spot, right? Your options. No options is really that great. Lost a billy there from the tower. Great targeting here by um, Bustos. Let's not play favorites though and check out what's going on on the other side of the map. Absolutely nothing. We're just looking to to boom and let everyone else do get out. Ooh, and have a nice gay even getting some scouts into action. So let's check up on his food count because he had all those boar and um, sheep. So I wonder if he just decided to make make several scouts and a lot of goats it looks like he's gonna go oh he's already um he's already castle dropping a TC here helping out Bustos And Tsunami is caught between someone who, a Britain player who had a ton of sheep and boar in his castle, and another person who had their TC up twice as fast is Koreans with towers around him and had like seven more tier than him, <laughs> than he had. And, um. Okay, I'm in the room, I should be in the game quickly, don't worry. Nice. Sweet deal. And we can just see it from score, even Tsunami, just um, lowest score, not surprising. And it, unfortunately, it's going to get worse because this score is going to lag behind everyone. It's going to shoot ahead here while they're hitting castle and whatnot. And he is not able to mine anything or gather resources, I should say. So not a fun spot. And this knight just trying to idle some villies. Ideally trying to pick off Billy's right, but he ran into a garrison tower and now um, Tsunami can't even really run because all these knights are just going to chase him down. Knights in um, light cav or scouts still. Maybe one day they'll be light cav, but for now they're just mere scouts. Take a look at chat. Crazy symbols. And like even if, it, if Tsunami knocks down this tower, these are like five, six idols for like a minute. 
and he's probably nowhere near close to clicking up. Yeah, oh man, this just hurts to watch. He's at 29 pop, 24 minutes in the game, and he's he's looking pretty pretty dead right now. <laughs> oh, and the siege workshops up for Cloud though. Not a good day for tsunami, I must say. Yeah, it was just rough. He had his TC up yeah, so he was slow. Going for the tower and Mook just walled it in. Oh no! And one knight is gonna do just so much damage. Yeah, and know. he's so using. He has to go all the way back again. Yeah, I'd say on average he's had six Billy's idle trying to kill palisades or a tower or whatever he can. And um, he is just gonna fall behind because he's still in feudal with not even really. Sa a safe place to farm. Oh, come on. He's practically in between any and every bad that could happen to him right now. Yeah. I can sympathize with him, though. So I think we all can. Oh my god, it's an no, unlucky spot. coming in. Let me bump up your volume a little bit here. Oh, monks, I missed it. Where are they on the map? Oh, there they are. Bye. Have a nice gay. There it is. Those monks are gonna now end every little bit of chance that uh, Cloud even had of saving Tsunami. In fact, right now, if somebody comes with rams, they could only kill Tsunami. Yeah, and like, even if they ignored him from now, he's already so far behind at 26 pop, 27 minutes in the game, and nowhere to run. <laughs> and yeah, nothing really going on on the top of the map. Just because they really have an easy option here to go in and completely climb. take take him completely out of the fight. Yeah, that's true. Like guaranteed, knock them down to four v three, and they really don't and have to invest too very much either. Moralizing to actually be four v three. Oh yeah. To mention. Then after he's and now uh, another tower going up. Oh no. It's just not his day, is it? Not his day. In a Korean tower. Cloud. Uh, no, yes, not Korean so bad being Bonds Koreans. And... Yeah, now everybody's coming to save Tsunami. Oh no. I don't think he can be saved. And at this point, it's like, is it, is, like, I hate to say it, but is he even worth saving? Like, it's, it's risky to try to save him, and he's only at 28 pop, and he's housed at 25 supply cap. I guess you kind of have to. Might as well. Might as well try to save your teammate instead of doing nothing else. <laughs> yep. This is why I'm not good at team games. <laughs> I mean, uh, you, you really cannot do anything else with knights right now if everybody else's wall would rather go save the guy who's dying. True. And like so you said, here's side, the ram coming look in. At it, have a nice, uh, the have a nice gay. The team, they've yeah. got yeah, nice gay. Just <laughs> nice gay. So, <laughs> the nice gay is actually doing pretty good right now. He's got a good will count, a good military count. He's probably putting a good amount of pressure on the to all but now cloud and toby are gonna cost him a few there yeah and then have a nice get he found a ton of sheep as britons at the start he even could send two sheep to a uh, ching up there on up north and then he had four oh, boar i think damn. too so he just that's a wasted monk from the nice gay oh i missed it i can hear him let me put it on military Another dead monk. Well, the nice gay guy is losing a lot of monks for no reason. Oh no, and I think uh, I'm paused at 30 minutes 11 seconds for me. Yes, it's the okay. same as me. Okay. Good, and my Which internet didn't drop or something. I guess at least this time I didn't drop. <laughs> yeah, well, that well, would right be now, good. That gives us a chance to check on the status of the game. Um, exactly, yeah. Ding. Tammy, I mean, is completely going out of control. He's about to click up right now. Yeah, and you know what? They they actually have to do a lot of damage to him. Like, he's just totally safe here, and he's in the lead with 83 vills, which is insane. 30, 30 minutes in the game. Just, just asking uh, the theory behind this. I mean, uh, if you check Tsunami, just go to Tsunami. Yep. Is he at minus one military? Oh, no, it fixed. Never mind. While the game was paused, he was in minus military pop. Oh, weird. <laughs> no respect even for the stats. 
Oh, but finally, Tsunami's been able to run all his build away. Oh, nice. He's gonna have to play Land Nomad all over again. <laughs> oh no, and this tower's not gonna get cancelled, and it's gonna get taken down by Cloud's Ram there. And yeah, Tsunami at 30 pop, and the next lowest um, in pop is Bustos at 48, and everyone else is pretty much at 60 to 80. Or to 90 now, because Tammy's going out of control. How many TCs is he on? I want to say four, but there's two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah. So that's a lot. Yeah, D Ding has done a few boobs, I must say. He's... <laughs> yeah, I should just start calling him Ding now. Yeah, just call him Ding. He, that's what that's what people know him as, Ding. Okay. It's yeah. a popular name. Britain's making a couple barracks there. Over here, Peril Peril raiding Toby. Let's see, Toby's really not in the best spot. Um, Villy count wise. He's losing Vils because yeah. of that openness of his map. Yeah, definitely. He could probably be raided very easily there. Oh my god, this is yeah, gonna be a slaughterhouse. And he's he doesn't have fletching. Uh oh. I was gonna say these knights don't I don't feel like they're taking that much damage and that's why. Um <laughs> And even there's more knights coming in, yeah. Oh man. Oh and And even just idling right now it's so big. It's not it's just not good for him right now because he has uh, Idols and uh, yeah, it's no the idling. Fletching. He needs fletching first, I think. Yeah, and I'm wondering if, if I he were him, can't. I would get fletching. Oh, he can definitely afford it. He's got 500 of everything in the bank at least, except wood, I guess. Oh, I'm looking at Tammy. Not Toby. Oh, not <laughs> Toby, Toby, Toby. Ah, oh, 300 of everything in the bank. I was gonna say, there's no way he could have that much in the bank. Oh, and well, checking the vill counts, uh, Ding is at 113 villagers. Yeah, that's nuts. Like 25 ahead of the second highest, which is nice gay guy. Yeah, man, this is if you, how to boom on Land Nomad, that's it. And everyone else, is there, these are good players too. So yeah, he's looking in a good spot. I'm just trying to I see think, what he's uh, going for. Ding Ding will practically be the difference maker here because he's so far ahead of everybody else right now and so that he could probably make up for two players right now. Yeah, they're gonna have to can let Tsunami um, get back in the game hopefully. And these Manganels from from Cloud doing work on Bustos' first TC here. So that's gonna be down soon. So that's some, some good news for Tammy. Yeah, this is, uh, well, Bustos took a lot of damage there. <laughs> Something he didn't want to, at least, I would say. Yeah, and Cloud has a... On the other side, Bustos was slinging apparel. Oh, really? Huh, I didn't see that. Let me check out the stats yes, really uh, quick. After, oh, this castle's gonna go up by Peril Peril. They're right in the middle of the map, almost. Oh, but that castle's gonna go down as soon as it goes up. Yeah, they're just trying to hold on here from the onslaught of Tammy or a thing that's coming. And while this is going on, it looks like action's gonna kinda stagnate here while they build up forces and, and secure oh this my position. God. The halberdiers are doing work. I Ooh, those. hope her bird switches over to something quickly. Oh, but here comes uh, the nice gay guy with the backup. Nice gay, have a nice gay. And Treb's coming out for Ding right now. He's gonna take that castle down, and once that castle's down, it's gonna be pretty much an open slot from him. There. He's still on an average 27 builds ahead, uh, an average 20 builds ahead of the second place. Yeah, and if we look, I'm surprised now. Bustle's at 50 builds, and Tsunami's at 39, so they're about equally dead. <laughs> so that's good. Finally equal that out and um, Bustos oh, lost well, his Bustos TC lost and he's TC and that, he's in a that bad spot. Of, Ooh, rad. and that Manganel shot. He lost two villies to a Manganel. Oh my god, that's that's just not good. And time for Tammy to Tsunami. do some work. Not, not to mention, uh, Tsunami can do a heck of a lot of damage uh, after he's slung back into the game once. Uh, Ding has a heck of a lot of extra resources. Because oh yeah, definitely true. Massive boom going. 
Yeah, and 18 the, oh on God, stone. Four trap coming out. Fifth oh yeah, it's gonna tear under through that castle. And, and that castle is gonna, go gonna... Get, and the next one as well, probably instantly after. Yeah, I'm wondering. Let me take a look at Peril Peril. Is he even close to going up? Oh, he's almost amp. He's like 80 percent there. But yeah, but halberdiers. Yeah, that's the thing. I'm like, what is he really gonna do with it? What is he gonna go for? And he's kind of put all his resources into these knights. Not looking that great right now against Halb Tribe in three oh, castles if, in here in the if middle. If he can get through the halberdiers, then he can fully take down everything he has. But getting through halberdiers won't be that easy. Yeah, definitely true. Those are very much upgraded halberdiers. And oh, here comes the longbowman. Ooh, and he has to wait too to get the cav upgrade, which takes forever. Not to mention, Ding can instantly place two more castles right now. Ooh, yeah. Oh, here come that big mass of. Oh, Parapara is gonna bring that huge. Ooh, he's gonna attack now. now. This, is this is. Yeah, it's unfortunate. So he had to go Imperial, and then he unfortunately he's gonna have to attack right now. He can't wait for the cav upgrade, and he's pulling back. It looks like he does want to wait for that. Yeah, he sees all those helps, says, nope, he nope, 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 <laughs> goes back. Yeah, it wouldn't be cost effective. <laughs> uh, just kind of a bad spot. Yeah, now I think it's just flooding Halberdiers in because he knows that, like, two out of the three enemies he's facing is going lights right now. Yeah, definitely true. And Tsunami trying to boom back into it. He looks like he's building farms over here and such oh on the God, bottom side of the map. He's putting a fifth castle up right now. Dude. Oh no, man. Yeah, he's got this middle of the map locked down right there. Soon, soon Ding will have enough longbows to put, stop anything dead on track. Oh, but why make... Uh, what oh is he God. making? Ooh, bringing up more villies. He's going to drop another castle even. Oh yeah, dropping more barracks. Yeah, nice. I mean, man. The thing is now slinging to be back into the game. Oh, nice. This is not gonna be... He's gonna have so much extra resources once he's... Because he's not gonna lose much, really. Longbows don't die very easy behind now. So. He just practically sling his team back. And oh my god, another castle going up for him. How much stone does this Ooh, He's going to secure this gold too. Yeah, it's big. He took um, Peril Peril off the gold. Now he's going to get the gold. Yeah, there goes the mining camp. And left side of the map, top left, I guess Ching is trying to put up a castle here. But I'm um, not sure it's going to do too much right now. It's going Paladin. And Ching, Toby's telling him to use these paladins over here instead of getting killed by helps, I guess. <laughs> it's gonna, uh, they can try, but I don't think it'll work too far well. But oh my god, now uh, Ding stopped making villagers at 120, and now he's getting outboomed by the others. Hmm. But then again, Cloud is Korean, and he's coming in with wagon, so this that's gonna be practically unstoppable in like a minute or two. Oh yeah, the war wagons after they get up a mass and just if they get too much of a stronghold here in the middle of the map, I'm thinking it's not gonna be doable to break. Oh but there it goes big face off on the south between those cavaliers and wagons versus the other cavaliers. Oh and oh, I don't see the wagons yet. Toby decides out. to bail. Go and fight man He's going back in. Ching's having to run away. I'm Ooh, now. Sorry, go ahead. Pero Pero now has the pattern upgrade, so it's not going to be good, but. Ooh. Yeah, and even. You can kind of get the story from the minimap. Even Pero Pero is getting pushed into pretty hard here. And. Ching's trying to push over here, but. It. Doesn't. I don't really feel like he's doing too much. We are back. Okay. At least it doesn't feel like he's doing as much damage as the middle of the map here that Ding is doing. And have a nice gay trying to help out. Okay, the big battle here. 
Ooh, yeah. Have a nice guy. Has a lot more ex or, uh, long bows than Tammy right now. So Tammy's gonna have to chill out, wait for more units here. And it's 2v1. <laughs> so, yeah. So it makes sense that there's more units here right now. And it, yeah, if they break this, give some breathing room to the middle of the map. Ooh, there is all the war wagons. Ooh, bombard towers here for Cloud. Yeah, the way everything's shaping up, it looks like this is important, this side of the map, and just this side of the map. It's almost like the middle of the map, like E2, E4 for... Or E4, F4. Just the middle of a chessboard, right? You guys all know the middle of a chessboard. We all know that. It's gonna be a <laughs> big fight for the middle with... Yeah. Oh my god. And it's just so important. Like, if you secure you the middle, Japanese secure trade. Team are... Japanese team are being pushed back just because of those sheer force of those trebuchets there. Yeah, that's nice. Thing is, they have so oh my God, much. But now it's so many paladins. Yeah, <laughs> paladin war. That's gonna practically end the middle fight almost. Oh, look at this. It's like finger painting with paladins. <laughs> So many oh colors, so much, so much going on. The carnage. And what are these war wagons up to? They're just chilling over here, not doing anything. Because if they were here doing damage, man. If those war wagons, oh my God, are, is the uh, those few paladins gonna win? No, not really. Yeah, looks like Orange is getting the upper hand. Ding but lost two, so he can lose another one soon, maybe. Oh, dang held. So yeah, all those paladins kind of... They both negated each other, but man, also, it's just hard to break. Also great micro from the nice gay though, because he's got so many Britain longbows practically doing nothing right now. Yeah, you're definitely right. And then, um, great micro by Tammy, just getting the expos in there. I think they might have had hill advantage here too behind the castle. It's hard to see, but just uh, adding on the DPS. Ooh, and these ding uh, longbows look like they're picking off the siege onagers of Chang. Let's see. Oh, and here come the paladins. Yeah, they're man. They're going all out for the spot right here. And looks like this it's stalemate oh, there. Yep. Ooh, siege onagers. This is gonna hurt them On the south again, uh, the nice gay guy is getting pushed by Cloud. It's not a good day for them, I must say. Ding is just playing practically awesome right now. Yeah, and this is impressive. And this is impressive. All those castles, <laughs> they definitely did their job. He's got a lot of castles and he's pumping halves, which is very much helping him hold up against the unlimited paladins of the enemy team. And on the other side, those paladins from Toby just completely destroyed Green. Oh no, yep, poor POZ Green. is living up to their reputation of being one of the strongest teams ever. Nice, nice. Yeah, and really on the... Like over by Cloud here and the castles with all the war wagons, it doesn't. It, it I find it odd that not too much is happening on that side of the map. And trade going up over here. Ching has some trade carts out on the right side of the map. But yeah, they're super battling over here about where the paladins keep killing each other and stuff. And uh oh, now. Now they're making headway and Ding is pushing up into the middle of the map. Yeah, the Spanish team is losing much ground right now. They, the only way they can probably hold is to stop Ding instantly. Yeah, they've got to stop him right now, right? Because if he gets this, then all of a sudden have a nice guy. He's going to lose all the stuff over here. In fact, he's already losing it. Oh, no. Well, Cloud is doing well. Uh, too well, almost. The Korean Imperial power is just not matchable by anything, really. Except that many Siege on Agers, though. though come on. Yeah, definitely That's just peppering. Oh, is it going on in the middle of the map? Yeah, a lot of action going on. It looks like the middle is getting... I don't even see any units from um, the other team here. Ooh, and these paladins by Toby. Heading on up into on, the on trade the... up north. And on the north of the map, however, Chinji and Pero Pero are pushing into Toby right now because... 
Well, those hand cannons oh, around yeah. are making it a bit difficult for Toby to hold on anymore. Yeah, and Toby's just... But the Japanese team just don't have enough ground right now. I mean, they could lose everything. Perapero is losing... He had to move his entire eco across the map again. Yeah, and Ding is capped right now. Let me just take a quick look at the population counts. And I'm worried about this, like you said, that push by Ching and Peril Peril on the left side of the map. Like, this is very vulnerable because they just might lose all these units, I feel like, as soon as the other team gets um, some breathing room. So they might lose the middle of the map and they might lose all these units here on the left. Uh, population oh counts... Ooh, yeah, just looking at the pop counts for each team, it's not looking the greatest. Practically everyone's popped out for I POZ. Oh, and there's GG's call. They're just giving POZ, yeah, the GG's call. I mean, they just yeah, lost they just ground, like they lost the middle, yeah. Yeah, so I'm shocked, man. That was great. Tammy played it like a Black Forest game, not on Black Forest, and then just smashed everybody and took control of the middle of the map, and they never lost the middle. Yeah.